and now we are in my Golf 5 and I want to do few modifications using ECU coding. I will be using this dollar fix PF8. If you want to grab it, I will link it in description, but also with other scanners like OBD11, VCDS, Finkar Mucas scanners, dollar fix scanners, a lot of them has this ECU coding and for VAC cars that means you will be able to access these long coding menus. So let me plug it inside OBD2 part and we will see everything we can customize. Let's go to Diagnose, European, Volkswagen. There are also online and guided functions. Maybe we'll check those later, but right now, okay, first thing I want to do, I want to disable this annoying seatbelt warning. Check this out. When I go 20 kilometers per hour, it will start to beep. It can be in adaptation or, okay, there is an adaptation. So let's do coding. Let's do this code module. Oh yeah, here is seatbelt warning, but I'm not sure this seatbelt warning if it is off or on, but let's try this. So right now we have start with zero, zero. So we can just change it to two. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, and we got rid of our seatbelt warning, I guess. Let's try it. But I still can see the warning light. So I'm not sure. Let's check it out. We have to go over 20. Okay, no beeping. So that would be first modification done. Okay, next function is opening windows from my key. If I do long press, I want it to open my windows, which we don't have right now. Let me put key back. Now we are in module 46, comfort central module. Let's go to long coding. Most of these Chinese scanners like DollarFix, Mucar, Finkar, King Bolen, they have very good long coding helper for VAC. It is similar like using VCDS or OBD11, but these scanners are for all brands, which is kind of cool. I think it was here in the fourth byte. Yeah, this is called comfort function in active. So let's change this to active. And yeah, this should be enough. It is. Okay. Okay. Nice. Next, what we also can do is auto lock. Wait, now I am locked. No. Auto lock is when you reach 15 kilometers per hour, your doors will get locked automatically. Already going almost 20, but the doors are not locking. So we can also enable this auto lock. That is very easy. And it is in the same module, module number 46. So same module like before, but this time we have to go to adaptation. Read by list. Auto lock. Off. Let's do value. To on, save. And then auto unlock as well. Okay, change value to on, save. Okay, let's try it. See, now it is locking automatically. Okay, now let's go to Central Electrics and check if there is something there. Module number nine, Central Electrics. Long coding. Wait, let's check adaptation first. What we have here? Mm, I think nothing interesting. 
wait, I have turned off my comfort turn signal. <laughs> I haven't even noticed. So if you do this, oh, it should blink three times. Okay, yes. Coding success. Okay, nice. Okay, and last modification will be in this byte 7. And that is basically what this does. It makes US style turn signals. So turn signals will be on permanently. Now let me show you my turn signals first. Now in this coding, what we have to do is change this byte value. I know that 32 will mean they will be bright at 50% and 64 is brightness at 100%. For demonstration, we can do 64. Hit OK. Check it out. Okay, so this was my five customizations with coding. If you don't have any scanner that can do coding, I have a list of best scanners for VAC cars in the description.